Hello, welcome to uh, another main Meister 10 minute mashup. Um, before I start guys, uh, I just want to kind of clear up a couple of things. Um, as any of you who actually watch my videos um, may probably probably found out, I'd kind of knocked this on the head. Um, it was for a couple of reasons guys. I started this uh, little you 10 minute mashup thing just for a bit of fun, nothing else. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not very good at it, it's pretty unprofessional compared to what you see out there. I was never interested in getting tens of thousands of, uh, of uh, subscribers like some of the some of the guys I subscribe to uh, seem to get. Um, it was always going to be a bit of, a bit of fun, and I enjoy making the, the videos. To be fair, um, it was only just I don't know over the last couple of weeks. Um, I like to kind of go in and see how many views the videos are getting, and sometimes it was like four or five, and I think to myself, well, I've watched it myself twice, so you know, you need to take a couple off. So it's maybe you know you're maybe getting three, four, five views. And then it just kind of sunk in. I thought, why am I continuing this with this? I, I mean, you know, I, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to make these things just for me to watch. I, I I make them because hopefully somebody out there finds them entertaining. Um, and again, because of YouTube, they don't actually seem to tell you um, who has uh, actually viewed them. Maybe there is an option in there to, to look at that. I don't. I don't quite know. Um, but because I couldn't really see who was uh, actually viewing the videos. Um, you know, I'm thinking, well, is anybody actually watching them? So I thought to myself, ah, let's just, uh, we'll call it a day, you know. However, um, I've had a few nice comments saying uh, how disappointed they are that I'm uh, going to knock it in the head, um, but they understand my reasons, and some people have been saying, oh, it'd be nice, you know, if you could continue doing that. So, you know what, guys, uh, it takes up, I mean, it literally takes up 10 minutes of my day um, to make one of these things. So, uh if somebody's enjoying them, then I'm going to keep making them as long as somebody's enjoying them. The, the day it gets to the point where I'm not getting any views apart from myself watching them, then I'll probably will uh, knock it in the head. So anyway, again, thanks for the encouragement, guys. This is, uh, it's thanks to you that I'm going to continue doing this thing. So uh, to kick it off, I don't even know what mashup this is, 42, 43 or something. Um, this is a game I was just browsing through my list of PC Engine games, and this is one called Night Rider on the PC Engine. Never played it, never heard of it. You can kind of see there what it looks like. So let's batter in, as they say. 1982. That could, it couldn't have been made in 1982. Ah, that must be the the, the, the data trademark of the actual um, TV program. I don't speak Japanese, so you'll need to apologise. I have no idea what this is saying. I have waffled for three minutes, so let me see. I now know where we need to start. Now it looks like some kind of outrun ish type map. Is that checkpoints possibly? <laughs> yep. That looks more like Rob Lowe than uh, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, I can fire. Hey! <laughs> what the hell is that all about? You just see me randomly take off. I guess I need to get a shoot. What? <laughs> it just seems to throw you up in the air after you reach a certain uh, velocity. Let's go. Oh dear. Obviously, uh, any 8-bit uh, owners would remember this game on the uh, on the 8-bits, the, the Commodore 64, Spectrum, etc. Um, I don't think I've actually played it on the 8-bit, but I don't think it was anything like this. Start. But as you can see here, it's a, it's a Japanese release, so obviously they, they didn't deem it worthy to get released in the States or across in, uh, in Europe. 
Now you hold your button down and then you just instantly take off. Good man, the uh, wood blasters. A touch of a uh, GCHQ flying in. It looks like any GCHQ. Ah, you can actually kill the cows. Destroy them, I should say. Distance. Ah, right, okay. It's going to have to get any gauge of how fast I'm going. Uh, 58 kilometers an hour, that can't be right. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Stretch forwards. Right, uh, okay, I've just thrust out the controls. You actually press forwards. I must have been doing some very special flying move thing. Let me turn it down now. Uh. A punch! So you can hear my waffling. Okay, let's go. Right, so it's forwards to go. Graphical wise, it's not bad. It's not, bad. It's not exactly the smoothest looking game in the world. But then we know that PC Engine is capable of doing pretty good, pretty good driving games. Background or the, the sort of side graphics are a bit samey. You get the a block or a boulder. Is that a forest or a site in front? I have no idea. Mushroom, no, it's not mushrooms, it's sign posts. It actually looks like they've just ripped some of the graphics out of the one. Hey! <laughs> oh, we've got trees now. Looking at the top, there's a distance thing. I'm guessing the the red uh, blocks is the distance I've still got to go. Let's go daylight again. Oh, let's go. It's game over. Okay. Option. Ah, oh, so you've got machine gun. So you must have different weapons. Completely agree, Michael. Quite nice music, I must admit. Okay, where is the screen gone? I'm playing this under emulation, so <laughs> I shall go out and go back in again. Don't know what happened there. Maybe it's special nighttime mode. Used by packing video, blah blah blah. Universal Sickle Studio is always reserved, blah blah blah. Okay, let's try again. I've actually got a PC engine. I mean, I've got I've got a shed load of machines, original machines. Um, but I've actually got a, a little uh, mini PC, an Acer Revu Seven, I think it's called, with basically every machine emulated on it, um, and it's just so much easier. Rather than having to piss about and set machines up. Um, I do occasionally, I've got the Amiga set up permanently, so I do occasionally, uh, if I'm doing an Amiga, Amiga mashup, I'll use the original hardware. Right, okay. And how do we, well, there's obviously no shoulder buttons in the PC engine, so how do we change options? Ok, 
Okay, right, so that's your flying move. That button does nothing. That does the flying move. Now this game, I said I didn't pick it because I knew it was shy or anything like that. It's just I was browsing through through the PC Engine games. I thought it looked suitably dodgy. What a stupid place to put a boulder. Now I keep harping on about the control method in some of these uh, driving games, especially that were especially prevalent in the 16-bit and 8-bit machines. That had a, a one-stick, a one-button joystick, whereby you had to press it forward. Um, now I'm using the, the controller I'm using. I'm using a joypad, using a 360 controller. Now the PC Engine used a, a gamepad as well, so to go forwards on the PC Engine, you'd have to press forward as well, and it's doesn't make for a very accurate control system because you're having to hold it forwards and can you turn the side as well. Did I grab it? Let's go again. We've got, uh, we've got just over a minute. Yes, absolutely. Let's go. Seems like the start to coordination street. To any of you uh, non-Brit uh, viewers, is a rather dire, uh, what do you call it, soap opera. Come on, let's go. Yeah, is there another gear? Well, I'm doing... I'm thinking not, because I am doing 212 kilometers an hour. the flying thing so I can get to the end. I don't even seem to be any quicker when I do the flying thing so I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. I don't to jump over cars like so. <laughs> quite nice graphics. I'm not the smoothest in the world. The actual static graphics look very arcade. They would look out of place in a, an arcade, uh, arcade game. Fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. Right guys, that's 13 minutes. That's 3 minutes for wall flying and 10 minutes for playing this. This is a Night Rider on the PC Engine. Thanks for watching.